So, at the end of this little dumpster podcast, we're going to do a little copper update. Yes. We had a lot of copper coming today, guys. We yes, did. we did. We have a couple key customers, and we'll do this for anyone. Um, actually, this is a good point. If you, you reach out to us, we'll, we'll let you know. We um, have a customer who loves to wait for the best moment to sell copper. Uh, boys, you all know, Metal yep. Exchange Direct, you guys are on this thing all the time, which is so awesome. It's a tool we've never had um, before, but we saw um, the dollar has been weak. It's been under 106 in that yeah. range. Um, still kind of strong. But. Still strong. So again, a year and a half ago we talked, we were at 90. Yep. Peaked at 114, I believe, dollar index. Now we're down in the 106 range. We're still historically high, but what's been holding back copper is the thought that China's never going to reopen, and they keep making you know more I see decisions. I crazy stuff over there. Yeah. Not to reopen. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the difference between competing in a market economy and a planned economy, which is a whole different subject. But um, what we're seeing now is a little bit of confidence that that might not be the case, a little bit of talk that the Fed may not be um, as strong in their words as they are. Your trans transitory crew might be coming back. Mr. Jerome. Mr. Jerome. He's back. So that really spiked things up 10 cents today. And we made some uh, calls to some key customers said, get your stuff in. Today's a good day. Yep. Uh, and it came in, right? We had some number two copper, yeah. a lot of number two copper, number one, a lot of brass, a lot of stuff coming in. So. In this short-term environment, this looks like a, a spot that I would earmark as a, a time. A lot of times at the end of the year, as, as portfolios get balanced and rebalanced in the hedge funds, um, the metals go down, uh, copper goes down. Hard to tell, hard to know. Right now, it seems like the Fed is running everything. So these um, CPI numbers, which again, we started, we were looking at six. Oh, that's high nine that's crazy now we're getting back down to the six and it's probably going to be sticking there um the fed is going to continue to ride this and there's going to be these peaks and valleys so fed decision day um when it comes next you know we'll all be watching oh yeah alex will be doing his apple play and we will it. have a load of copper ready to sell or not based on the 238 press conference yeah. on that day so that's how we kind of play it but this is a good reminder, anyone who would be interested in signing up for something and, and being text and alert, hey, Copper really bumped up today. If someone's interested in that, we're all for it. We can communicate with you guys. We love working with you. Um, and we'll work that out. So lots of Copper. We did a bear break bail today, right? Yes, sir. Yes, we did. You we guys did over bailed that, right? <laughs> yes. Too yes, to yes we did. 6,000 pound bail. Yep. It's a big bail. It's a big, it's a big, it's a big bail. I was wondering, uh, bail, when so. I tried to pick it up, it wasn't picking up really. Yeah, that's a good sign that it's yeah. too heavy. But Absolutely. But we learn. So we, learn. we live and we learn. We have a growth mindset. Yes. Absolutely. And an open mind. Yes, sir. And an open mind, carry. Very good. Well, that is today's Copper Update. Hope you've enjoyed it, and come back and see us soon.